Hey everybody, it's Palumbo. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you uh, how to SSH into a Linux server using key files from a Windows 7 box. In my previous video, I showed you how to do this using um, Mac OS X and some of the utilities that are built directly into Unix, uh, more specifically SSH-keygen, uh, the command that generates the, the two key files. Um, of course, Windows doesn't have these utilities built in, but they are available. You just need to know what to download. And so I thought it's not entirely straightforward. Um, so I thought I would just do a quick video showing you more or less uh, how you would set it up from a Windows 7 environment. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, generate the um, the two key files. And I'm going to use I'm going to do that using an application called PuttyGen, and it's free to download. Uh, as well as some of the other applications that we're going to be using. And the way I generate the key files is simply click on Generate. It's going to ask me to move my mouse pointer around this area this area to generate some randomness. Once I get the key file created, it's going to ask if I want to enter a comment, which I do. This one here, Palumbo at Palumbo-PC, so I know I did this from my, uh, my Windows box. Um, much like the ssh-keygen command, it's going to ask if I want to use a passphrase. Quite honestly, I like the convenience of not having to enter a password in order to SSH in order to SSH into my server. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on that. Um, now I need to actually save the private key to my local machine, and I need to put the public key on my server. So let's go ahead and save the private key first. So I'm going to save my private key by clicking on uh, on the button, and it says, "Are you sure you want to save this key without a passphrase to protect it?" In this case, yeah, I'm perfectly fine with that. Uh, I actually have a folder in my uh, in my user account called key files. So I'm going to go ahead and save my key file there, and I'm just going to go ahead and name it um, id underscore rsa. And notice here is the save type is .ppk uh, putty private key files. Putty has its own uh, key file type. Uh, and it has to be saved using that .ppk file format. So I'm going to save it there. And the next thing I need to do is I need to make sure that my public key uh, is going to live on my server. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to use a, an application called Putty. And Putty is an extremely useful SSH client for Windows environments. And I am going to go ahead and SSH in. Now, I went ahead and actually, uh, one of the really neat features of Putty is that you can save sessions. So the server I'm, I plan to use this on is drupal.palumbo.com. Let's go ahead and load that session in. It'll automatically enter the information I need. And I'm going to click on OK. You can SSH in as the root user. It's going to ask me for my password. And I need to go ahead and create the authorized keys file so I can go ahead and paste uh, my public key into that file. So I'm going to use a quick shortcut here. I'm just going to go ahead and hit bi ssh authorized underscore keys. Um, so this uh, opens up uh, a brand new file named authorized underscore keys using the bi text editor. I'm going to go ahead and press I to go into insert mode. And I'm simply going to go over here and I'm going to put this key. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it directly into this file. Just uh, FYI, the key combination to paste into PuTTY is Shift Insert. Once I have that pasted, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. The way you save a file in VI, just in case you're not familiar with it, you press Escape to go out of Insert Mode and into Command Mode, and then you press colon WQ for Right Quit. Enter. So now I've actually created that file. I can exit out of my server. My public key is now living up there. I can get rid of uh, the putty key generator. I don't need that anymore. And so now I want to try and I want to SSH into my server uh, using putty and not having to use a password. So let's bring putty back up one more time. And the question that I had was, well, how does putty know what key file to use? And that's where the third application comes in called Pageant. And Pageant is, uh, is an application that lives in your system tray, and it works with PuTTY, and it makes sure that it, that it has these system files available anytime you're trying to access a server. So let me show you how you would set this up. First of all, you would download Pageant, and I'll show you where you can download that in my blog notes. From PuTTY, you would go down here under Connection and then under SSH, and you would click on Auth. 
And there is uh, a couple of things that you should know about this. Now, first of all, you want to make sure, and it doesn't hurt just to have this turned on, period. You want to make sure that this is checked, attempt, auth attempt authentication using pageant. But if you didn't want to use that, you could also just basically tell Putty uh, for one time use exactly where your key file is. And for authentication parameters, you can click on Browse, go into Joseph, Key Files, and select that file. And it would use that file for that session. But in this case, I actually want to go ahead and use Pageant. Uh, my key file will live there. And then anytime I want to go ahead and, and copy my public key to a server, I don't have to worry about loading in my private key. So I've made sure that uh, Attempt Authentication Using Pageant is selected. Let's go back up to Session. I'm going to go ahead and load drupal.palumbo.com, load that session, and then I'm going to go down to my system tray, and I'm going to right-click on my pageant application, which is a little computer wearing a hat. I'm going to click on View Keys. And so right now there aren't any keys on there. I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Key, and I'm going to go into my Key Files folder. I'm going to select the key, the private key that I just generated, and click on Open, and that's going to place the key directly into pageant. I can go ahead and close that out. I already have my session loaded, so I'm going to click on Open, and this uh, starts the SSH process into my server. I'm going to log in as root, and when I hit Enter, I don't have to enter a password. I can actually go ahead and get in there. Uh, my server has the public key living on it, and Pageant made sure that Putty was able to go ahead and find my private key living on my local Windows box and use it to authenticate onto the server. So using three applications, PuttyGen to create the key pair, Putty to SSH into the server and Pageant to help manage the key files living on, on my computer, I'm able to get that same secure and convenient functionality on my Windows box that I have on my Mac OS X machines and also my Linux machines. Uh, I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. And I should uh, have the step-by-step -step directions as well as the links to the packages you need to download uh, on my blog. Thank you very much.